Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This is a special Vulcan Report. Uh, job numbers just came out. Uh, 38,000 jobs were added in the month of May, which means the unemployment rate tumbles to 4.7%. Uh, May non-farm payrolls, 38,000 versus consensus, plus 164,000 and 123,000 revised from 160,000. Previous unemployment rate, 4.7% versus 4.9% consensus, 5.0% previous. What does this all mean? It means that there is no rate hike in June. Once again, I repeat, no rate hike for June. This is a very abysmal jobless uh, claims number. It is showing you that the economy has pretty much slowed to a grinding halt. There are no jobs. There are no jobs. Not even dead in retail jobs. Not, not even minimum wage paying jobs with no benefits. Especially health insurance. There is no work out there. Regardless of whether you have a high school diploma or a college degree. What else does this mean? Well, since there will be no rate hike coming this means that the market can continue to rally I do see the e-mini S&P 500 futures contract rallying past this 2100 mark even if it doesn't close above it today it's definitely in play for next week we're looking at possibly 2120 to 2130 uh, just want to let you know that the market is still well supported at the 2037 handle and even though momentum came off a little bit this morning, it's still overbought, but locking in a powerful uptrend move, uh, movement. Something else I wanted to show you real quick. I do believe that the Fed has been watching our video series that there is no collapse. And they're allowing the dollar to pull back a little bit. As you can see here. The dollar technically still though is uh, pulse waving positive even though we pulled back uh, today and took out last week's low. Market's still very well supported at 92.27. I see that as a knee jerk reaction. The, uh, the dollar is off uh, 1.31 which is huge. It's 131 pips and the euro, uh, not the euro, but the um, the yen, the yen is off uh, like more than 200 pips. So, a lot of a uh, lot of movement and action going on in these markets. Uh, take a look at this euro movement. Let's see here. This one was quite telling. As you can see here, nice nice bid here, up 162 pips right now, but still for all this price movement this morning not it, the markets are really going nowhere nothing has really happened we were just uh, trading in ranges all week no movement look at this this is nothing to write home about you still have uh, resistance overhead overhead resistance at 116.09 which is way up here and this market is still pulse waving negative downtrend channel right here I suspect that this dollar is going to be bid back up the feds are going to ram it up everyone's you know what come the close of today so if anything you probably want to be long uh, dollar on a small position just see if I'm right or not uh, I, I will definitely be doing that so just want to put that out there this is what's what's going on now gold and silver did uh, catch a bid this morning just like in my previous video I was uh, informing you all that um, we're still in a negative pulse wave as you can see but it's, it, it popped on this news this morning, but it still has overhead resistance at 13.027. Uh, so that's it's quite it's going it's to be hard for this uh, for this this market to turn around. We'll still have to wait and see. But for all this price movement action this morning, we still are we, we've gone nowhere. Nothing's happening. Uh, we're still trading within last week's trading range. We haven't taken out anything. Any specific, we haven't taken out any um, important resistance. Uh, the gold's going to have to close above 1258.30 today in order to put an end to this downtrend. Uh, taking a look at silver, pretty much the same story. Uh, the silver has overhead resistance right now at 1798. Way up here. 
and we need to close today above 1660 in order to put it into this downtrend if not this is going to continue so just wanted to put that out there give you guys the understanding of what's going on um, the markets as you can see are the crossroads uh, oil is still well supported at 3962 and it did come off a little bit this morning and it was right back to where it was nothing's happening uh, a close today above 5020 would be strong uh, positioning for the bulls to make that run up to 55 next week so that's all I got for now uh, just remember bulls make money bears make money but pigs get slaughtered so remember to take what you can and give nothing back